The purpose of the STN database is to track the dissemination and reception of books across late Enlightenment Europe. Thus, when we enter the database, possibly the easiest way to explain how it works is to try to do that with just one book title. I am going to go to the Browse menu where I can search for any book I choose that is in the database. On this occasion, I am going to choose a rather obscure title called A quoi sert un titre si l'ouvrage est bon? When we browse the book, we gain two major panes of information. The first tells us about the work in its entirety. It gives us the title and information that would apply to all of the editions of that work. In this case we have keywords and Parisian keywords, systems of categorization. We have information about total sales and purchases by the STN and the ability to click through to other forms of global information for the book concerning its trade and sales across Europe. A second lower pane here gives us details that apply to any one single edition and in many cases several different editions of the work would be presented. However, A quoi sert un titre si l'ouvrage est bon did not become a European bestseller and probably didn't live up to the promise of the bon in the title. So we are left with only one edition in the database. The data for these books is built up from a set of building blocks, roughly 70,000 of them, that we refer to in the database as events. An event is the recording of something, usually sales or purchases, of books by the STN of a particular title on a particular day to an individual client here, Jean Moura, um, in a particular place. If we want to look in more detail, we can interrogate each of the main building blocks of that statement. The title, the client, in this case Mora was a supplier. This is an in-transaction represented by the blue there as a colour coding and he is based in Lausanne. Using the browse menu, it is in fact possible to interrogate all of those things. Books, clients and places. Let us therefore interrogate Jean Moura, clicking through to where we would find him if we browsed him as a client. The information given here about him um, corresponds in many ways to what we have with the books. We have a series of panes. The first pane gives us the basic information, his name and various details about him um, professionally. He is a libraire, that is to say in translation a bookseller, and he belongs to two other gr world groups which we have created for the purposes of analysis, the bookseller and the book trade, and we can interrogate the members of those sectors and their economic activities in the book trade, the titles that they bought and sold by clicking through to those particular um, areas here. If we go down to the second pane, we find a load of information uh, about him from the archive. We have the dates of his correspondence, the number of surviving documents in the STN archive, which we have catalogued completely for the first time through the database, the manuscripts that are connected with him, uh, first of all his in correspondence and then out letter books from the STN represented by CL here, copy of letter, volume M and then the um, various folio numbers at which letters to Mora can be found. And we also have, very usefully, his address, uh, Sur Saint-François in Lausanne. Let us now then click through um, and browse Lausanne as a place and see what sort of data we can find there. First of all, the database gives us 
a very useful map so we can see Lausanne of course is a town in Switzerland geographically and data in the pane over here tells us things about how we have placed Lausanne geographically and politically um, against a number of different measures. We have its distance from Neuchâtel recorded but we also record that in the 18th century it belonged to the lower territory or the canton of Bern, that Bern was part of the Swiss Confederation and that in modern day terms Bern is in the Vaud um, or in Switzerland and in geographic terms we, it is in what we have called the Helvetic zone, one of a small number of large geographic zones that we have created for ease of analysis and mapping. If we clicked through to any of these places we would be able to find that there is information about the towns in the zone and its level of book trade um, including the details that we have here. Um, the ability to rank book sales, keywords and clients um, in relation to the trade to this place or to list all of the events that took place that brought books to and from Lausanne. Finally we have a complete list of the clients by profession who are based in Lausanne. Lausanne being fairly close to Neuchâtel and an important Swiss town we find that it has a very large number of clients in a wide range of trades.